Hey everyone, let's play some games. The fourth wing of the Black Rock Mountain has been released, so let's check it out. Open it up. And see. And as usual, I haven't checked out any of the bosses, so I don't know about the hero powers and so on. Want to come into my house? Fine. Razor Gore! Hmm. If all crafts X plus one health, then summon one. So I guess. Okay, let's just check it out and see how that works. Uh, let's just stop here with the Mad Warrior. Let's just check it out. I mean, usually we can one shot them on normal, but who knows? This might actually be bad to do damage here because does X thing sounds like it's something. But he gives them health. I don't know. Let's check it out. Um, I'm afraid of the Mad Bomber because maybe this egg will like... Well, okay, let's check it out. When this minion has four more health, it hatches. Oh! Well, then the Mad Bomber would have been great. If we kill it... Then... It does not hatch. Alright. So let's play I was my care since that's all we can do. And he just keeps doing that. And what comes out of it when it hatches? I do not know. Um let's just kill one of them. And then one is gonna hatch next turn. And we get the death stide out. Hopefully we can kinda Oh, okay. That's a pretty strong minion. Kill that with the axe. Kill that egg with the frothing. Need to clean up those eggs. Do that, that, that. Good. Um, alright, I guess he's running into it with that one. <laughs> so we can actually clear the board now rather easily. We just hit that one. And do you want to go for value? I think I do because then we can play both of those. So let's just do that. Well, we could also go for the Mad Bomber, actually. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna go for. See if you can get uh, even more value. Oh, well, that's fine. There's no minions in the board to kill off the Acolyte anyway. And that card, we all use it. Looks like we got it under control, though. Because if you... I've I think the main threat is probably gonna be his X, right? And I think we can keep those under control now. But I can imagine it's going to be quite different on Heroic. Oh, it's the mini Fire Elemental. Alright. So, now... Uh, play that, and I guess just a Dread Corsair. I hope he doesn't have like a way to. Oh, well, let's see. Hopefully, we don't get a uh, something bad here, like a Doomsayer. All right. Okay. I really wonder what it's gonna be in heroic though. That hero power. It's kind of harmless and normal. I have no that. Time for games. Well, I assume it's gonna be free and maybe it, like fills up the board with X or something crazy. Oh, 
Yeah, this seems extremely easy. Dr. Boom, excellent. You go down there. Kill. That. And I think we just go for the face here. Since, sure, that'll go up to two life, but we were gonna do over kill to it anyway with the map bomb if we attacked it. We probably have lethal. 16. 12. Oh, let's just hit that with the, the two bombers, actually. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna execute it? No? <laughs> well, good job, Taskmaster. Good job. That has to be one of the worst moves I've ever seen. Alright. Revenge. Not so sure about that card. Okay, let's go here. Hmm. Alright. I remember fighting this guy in uh, in World of Warcraft. So we have Boy. And um, some minions. Pretty good hand. Now, actually, what is here about? Each player draws two cards. That is interesting, to say the least. I'm guessing something like Faith Hunter is gonna. Yeah, gonna end up being the way. Definitely don't want any card draw in your deck against this guy. I wonder if the hero point is going to be similar in Heroic or if it's going to be something like he draws two and you draw one. Or, or maybe it's only him who draws two in Heroic. And that'll change everything. It's a normal world. It looks like we're going to end up burning quite some cards here. What if we play this one first? If we get lucky... Yeah, if we, get, if we get lucky, it hits this one twice, and if we don't, then we just kill it with the axe, just like we would anyway. Let's do that. Oh boy. Well, he's burning his own cards too. Wow, and then he plays the coin. Yeah, good move, buddy. Okay, I'm playing Mad ba Well, Battle Rage would have been useless anyway. Mad Bomber, and then... Almost met. It's a good thing is we play two cards as well, which we should try and do every turn. In fact, we should try and play three cards every turn. That's gonna be a challenge with this deck. So if we do. Oh no, the whirlwind! I was thinking like Grim Patron, Death Spide. Let's. Get the, the bah, yeah, this one out, and then maybe Grim Patron next time. Well, actually, let's. I don't know, man. Well, definitely execute on that one. Do have Gromash. We do. Have, we have execute for that, which is excellent. Now, slam. So we execute, slam, taskmaster. Then we can uh, clear the board. Like this. Execute that. And then I think I want to wait slamming until the end so we don't work hard with it. Because we are getting plenty of cards. Oh wow. Okay, good thing we have another exit. Oh boy. Oh, we need to kill one of them with execute. Jeez. 
And I want to play this axe too, so we can activate Gromas next turn. Do that. Put that into that. Execute armor up. And then I think we're good to go, unless he plays a taunt. Don't taunt up here in the middle. Don't do it. Alright. Let's play Gromash. And... Kill him. Hmm. Oh, Flame Waker. Good card. One of my greatest achievements. Look at him. Brute Affliction card. To your opponent's hand. Right, so he's going to give it to us. It's not really sure. All these hero parts are kind of like, you don't really know exactly what's going on here. Well, the second one, the guy yeah. just played, was obvious Let's enough. This going. Oh, I guess if we're gonna get a negative card that we have to play, it will fill up our hand or something, and they'll be do something bad to us if we play it. What well, this is in your hand? Restore two health to opponent at the start of your turn. Okay. Well, that's fine. Because he hasn't taken any damage anyway. Well, I guess we have to play it when we start trying to kill him. So it's basically taking away our mana because it forces us to play them, right? What is this one? Oh! Okay. So if we play... What does this one do anyway? We could just play the Acrolyte here. Or oh, we could get these afflictions out of our hand. Do that. I just kinda... Why not? <laughs> oh, there's not even a spell effect when you play them? Hmm. I guess we didn't have time to add that. That seems so weird. Unlike Blizzard. Oh, well that's not very pleasant. But I think I'll hold on to it for now anyway. Let's play this one. Because playing the Acolyte here is just so weak. Hopefully he doesn't have any great spells. Well, swipe. Not really a big deal. Ah, you know what, we should probably get rid of these. Then we'll play the Acolyte. Alright. I'll take an Acolyte for a swipe. Uh, now, I guess we play the Loafer. Oh, we definitely want to get rid of this one. Hmm. Can... What is this? You had to take one damage at staff. Okay, that's not too scary. So we could use seven mana this turn if we want to. I think... I wanna do this. What if we just this execute that one? And we can also play this. Oh, 
Draken Consort. I'll never tell. Not too bad we don't have any secrets. So now we have 10, 11 damage. We have Whirlwind, we have Battle Rage. Hmm. And we also have an Acolyte on board. What if we do Whirlwind first? And then, oh, execute. We can do Battle Rage, draw five cards, and we'll fill up our hand. Oh man, Battle Rage, so good. It's like an improved sprint for five mana less and one extra card here. Probably well, used to execute, yeah? And. Let's play that. And, you know what, let's just get rid of this one. Then we will kill that. Go for the base. And I think we're in a pretty good spot. <laughs> Alright. That is 12, and then we have the weapon. I had to check, like maybe there's one that's like, you cannot kill the enemy while you have discard in hand, like it makes him immune. But no, that's not it. Alright, Hungry Dragon time. Well, now we're going for you. Oh, thanks. Ragnarok wants to know he <laughs> what you. Okay, let the games begin. Hmm. All right, let's go for this. Final boss. Well, actually, who's after? Him then, right? Because he has been talking to us all, like for all of this adventure. Uh, let's go. That seems reasonable. Okay. Let's see what you got for us. Right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's pretty, pretty useful hero power. Ten mana. Well, I hope that the uh, Vagnamus lives up to his word, right? And helps us out. <laughs> because we could use some help, I think. Savannah's just like holy crap into your head. Uh All right. Okay. This seems like a heroic boss so far, but I There we go. Yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> okay. So I replay that, and then he has to run that into that. Um, and then we have that one. I think I'm gonna play the acolyte just to get something out there, and I'm hoping he won't kill it. But because I mean it is a computer, so the AI might be kind of bad, right? Cleave. Hit that one. It would have been... No, actually this is fine. Alright. That is a lot of stuff for normal mode. Jesus. Okay. Oh, good to be getting some more health. So we're just getting one of these every turn. That could mean that late game... 
<laughs> oh, wait. Oh, this one is different. I thought it was the same. Deal 6 damage. Wow. Okay, that's pretty good. So then let's... Um, well, should, should we draw a card here? If we play the Death Spite, which I think I will, then kill that. Play that. Play the weapon. Hope we get an Execute or a Silence for that one. A silence would be really good since we have the Death Rattle here. I wonder, like, maybe Ragnaros is not gonna help us in heroic mode. Then this fight could be really difficult. That is good. Um, kill that. Kill that with die insect. What do we want to play? Maybe just a piloted shredder. Okay, so we did that. Oh, a random enemy. Oh. Okay. Well, let's still play it. Oh, too bad you couldn't hit that one. At least the Shredder does trade with that, so it's okay, I suppose. You're taking a lot of damage here, though. Ah, oh, man. Mm. That is not good news. Come on, Ragnarvas. Try. Random enemy. Right, but we can kill that. I believe we should execute or something. Play Sylvanas, but we're just dying here. If we play that, 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 we could run these two into that and kill that one with the axe. Let's see what we get from this. Okay, play this. Then that. Oh! <laughs> Forgot about that one. Oh well, that's funny. That's pretty rare that you get that kind of unsuspected sanity. Okay, come on, hit that one. Right, okay. No, it can hit the face! Okay, you know what, let's buff this one up so it does more damage to that if he tries to shoot. Ah, he's so low though. I wield the power black well, that didn't work. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe we wanna try a different deck? I'm not sure what would be best versus it. I kind of think like the executes and stuff are really nice. Alright, you know what, let's try it again. Didn't really... We don't think we got any executes. Keep the free drop around since we don't have the coin, so it could be hard to get something good on turn three. Of course, my minions are not very impressive versus a guy who has 10 mana. Come on, 5 people wax. Ah, well, let's play the Mad Bomber then. Hey, at least he only hit the enemy. Ah, 
Ah, those guys are so annoying. How many does he have? I'm guessing Silence is gonna be good versus him because he seems to play Twilight Drake pretty often. Come on, Ragnarok, where's your help? Deal 6 damage. Well, that is very useful. Take that. It's not enough to quite kill that one though. So do we want to just... How do we want to do it? Do we want to just go for that? Or do we want to kill the two smaller ones? Let's try and kill the two smaller ones. Kind of get rid of some stuff. We don't want him to have too many minions. And then we have two minions with pretty high attack. Ah, maybe I should have gone for that one actually. Because he can kill either of those and survive. If and if, if you have if you lose again, I'm gonna make a deck with some more silences, I think. Just so many twilight tricks. Alright. Execute. Now that's good. want that. And I guess we gotta play the Armorsmith, right? Uh, I run that into that. Maybe run this into that and then just execute that one. Okay. I, wanna, I really want to get the Sylvanas out. But can't do that quite yet. Oh boy, Lofer does so bad here. Unless... Well, that helps. That helps a lot. See that? I hope he plays a taunt, but if he doesn't, we also have Sylvanas. I like this. And we haven't taken that much damage like last time. That is a little scary though. No, that's... Oh, that's a Spellbreaker. Oh. Alright, so if we do... That... Hope it hits that one. Oh, Dragnavus! Ah, it's just Sylvanas. It's like, great, but... It's not really that great when he only has one me. <laughs> I hope that he doesn't trade here before he plays something. No? Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. That's pretty amazing. So then we can trade into that and get that. Oh, which one do we want? The 4... 6, 4 or the 5, 5? The hell can I deal 6 damage? I think maybe we should actually hold... Well, could do that. Keep our Sylvanas. All right, all right. I like this. Definitely going better than last time. Boom. So if we do that, play Dr. Boom, taunt, go for the face. Let's just continue to hope that he doesn't kill Sylvanas before we get used out of it. But it seems like we might not even need her. Oh boy. Well, that ruins everything. Okay, we keep the 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh no! Never mind. It does ruin everything. Well, so, did he get Brawl? Because he's. Yeah, created by Wild Magic. Great. <laughs> uh, well. 
Does he play any taunts? It kind of looks like he doesn't. So let's just play the Black Knight here to get something out there. The nice thing is that we get a free card every turn, but I mean, so does he. And it's... Oh, man. Okay. Okay, we still have a minion. That's good. Good. Need to do the damage. Let's get rid of all his armor, actually. Not get rid of shield slam anymore. And I'll hold on to these two. Because, I mean, I expect to see another Twilight Drake sometime, right? Come on, keep giving us minions, Ragnaros. Uh. Okay. That has potential. We can um, buff that with Taskmaster if it survives. Should I play the Spellbreaker? Maybe, maybe not. Huh. <laughs> okay. So, hmm. Well, this one. Did he play that one first and then that one? Good job. This is excellent. I wanna. Um, I guess let's execute that. Battle Rage. Oh, that's very interesting. Then I kind of want to hit that one, actually. Um... So we did that. Battle Rage. Oh, I guess I could have Taskmaster on that one. Yeah, actually I should have done that. It's okay, though. I'll play that. Go for that. Could have done some other things too. Ah, okay. But we're in a decent spot, even though we're low on life. Thankfully, he's starting to be low on cards too. Alright. That's 10. 22. Random. Enemy. Okay, if it actually hits the face, we have lethal here. Ah, okay, well. You know what? Let's just take him low. Alright. Think we're gonna get it. And let's do it with Gromash. Ah oh, man, should have done it with the uh, Ragnaros' card and let him do it. He's been such a good buddy this game. Excellent card. Now, well, first let's open this chest. Alright. And then we'll do the class challenges. The warlock one. Ah, the egg one. Let's see what kind of cards we get here. Oh, Demon Ra. Well, that seems useful with all these eggs. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's keep both of them. Valgan is okay. Hope we get a Void Cola. So, yeah, we like have all demons, I'm guessing, and demon wrath. 
two damage. Oh, that's not quite enough to kill that next turn. Oh, but it is if we have this one down. Yeah, let's play this one. And that's not a demon, so we don't want that out right now. Aw, okay. oh, that won't die either. But uh, let's do that. Let's kill that off. Yeah, Demon Ruff is pretty good in this match. Maybe just play it again. Then play a Void Walker. <laughs> oh, poor guy. But then again, he is a guy. Like, how does he make all these eggs? Huh, maybe it's not a guy. Sounds like one though. So, boy Terra. Hmm. Nah, let's uh, life tap here. Kill the egg. Uh-oh, Corruption Hour on our two-cost card. What will we do? I guess we could Void Terror it. Yeah, and play the Imp Gang Pass. But let's... Uh, <laughs> kill that. Or do we want to... Yes, let's kill that. Play the Void Terror. Alright. Uh, I think this is probably one of the easiest boss fights we have had in any adventure so far. I'll be curious to see if that remains the case in Heroic though. So now we could play this and life tap. Do that. Go for this thing. So now, do we have lethal? 12? 16? Yes, I believe we do. If it's a funny, yeah, yeah, this is a demon. Just making sure, don't want to make some stupid mistake. Well, this is like the perfect deck for this match. Which is nice. Alright, and the perfect reward. It's almost like that boss is made for that cat. Which it very well might be. Hmm, that makes sense. Rogue has a lot of cheap cards, right? Gang up. Seems very useful in this matchup. Preparation, definitely. We want to just play as much as possible. Yeah, let's just keep all of it. I think this might be the deck against it on Heroic 2, depending on what exactly the Heroic is on Heroic. Would be nice with some minions. Hmm. Uh, let's just deck it up. And we're gonna get three cards. We're okay. We can spend a lot of cards really quickly with our two preps. Vanish. Not so sure about that. Alright, so we wanna use cards, but if you don't really have any cards that are really that exciting to use here, but we just gotta do it anyway. Do that. Still have too many cards. No minions to gang up. She's gonna prep eviscerate to the face. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Here we go. Okay, with that kind of rogue. Make sure, mill yourself. What's 
Oh, do we want to get a copy? Yeah, let's get a copy. Because it seems like we don't have any minions otherwise. Then... Let's just do this. And enter. Actually, I should have used backstab if it's away. I have so many backstab. I just wanted. Yeah, I didn't really think that one through. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's gang up. And then backstab. But not a deadly. You wanna gang up again? Yeah, let's just go for it. Then we will kill that. What am I talking about? That doesn't kill it at all. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't know what I was thinking. Weird. That was terrible. Okay, maybe just vanish here. But it's like my attack start was so pointless. But I guess we're gonna burn one too, so that's that's pretty nice. Yeah, okay, let's just go for that. And enter. Oh, looks like we're gonna burn a cat here as well. No, no, we're good. I think. Yes. Twilight Drake. Yes. Sap. No, let's see. If we do that and then we prep and then we sap. And then enter. Uh, you're not very good at playing this deck, buddy. We need more cheap cards. Oh, okay, that one is a pretty good one for this matchup. Unfortunately. Um, right, let's get... Oh, I can't even use all these cards. Just prep nothing? Just to get down to seven cards. Since we're gonna get three more cards before it's our turn. So I guess we do have some minions in the deck. Not really sure, this one doesn't seem that relevant to this matchup, but I'm guessing this is the reward we're getting for winning this game. Brilliant. Kill it after you put corruption on it. Sure. Why not? Why not indeed? So... We could do this and then assassinate with the preparation. Then we can also play Twilight Drake, right? Oh wait, now that's... Ah, assassinate is still gonna be two meta. So we can't quite do that. Why don't we just... Do this, backstab, assassinate, go for the faith. Now we have seven cards. Okay. Oh, and he's gonna start taking fatigue damage too. Oh boy. Well, I think we are fine. My hand is too full. So we just go behind you, behind you. and vanish. Then play Twilight Drake, prep, Sinister Strike. 
Okay. Alright. There we go, he's killing himself. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think this card really makes sense for this particular matchup. It, it's just no, like... So, not the greatest class challenge. I think the Warlock one was better just because it fit well with the whole theme and stuff. But uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.